Bicycle Internet, Anthony here, and I want to welcome you to our first episode of Pure Cycles Gear Corner. If you've cruised the interwebs recently, you've likely seen a number of rad rigs with a front basket setup. Of course, this got the cogs turning, and we got to daydreaming about bike setups and what our ideal bike would look like. Today, we're going to be talking about taking one of our urban commuters, this guy right here, and adding some options to make it your go-to bike for city adventures. For this project, you'll need a few things. A walled 137 basket, either an outer shell 137 basket bag, or a Swift Industries sugar loaf bag, a few zip ties, and a cutting tool. So for this project, what you're going to want to do is install an urban front rack onto the bike. Uh, we've already done that here on this one, um, but if you're curious on learning how to do it, uh, we will provide some instructions for installation uh, in the description of the video down below. But after you get that installed, then you're going to want to get that 137 basket out and get that kind of centered on the rack. Uh, keep in mind there will be some tabs in there, these guys right here and right here and then a couple on the back. You'll want to keep those out of the way. I usually like to tuck them in the back. Uh, but once you do that, uh, grab your first zip tie, and this one just kind of serves as an anchor. Um, there's a, a backing on the, the rack, so you can just go ahead, get that guy zip tied all up. Don't go too tight. Uh, this way you can keep the, the rack kind of flush to, the basket flush to the rack, and then once that's set there, then you can go ahead and do the rest of the zip ties. So now that we have all the zip ties set, uh, I'm going to go ahead and pull the anchor a little tighter. That way you can get it kind of flush to that backing plate and then make sure that all of these are tight. Uh, once you've done that, check those guys over, get your cutting tool out, and just clean up the zip ties. The nice thing about zip ties is that they're pretty, pretty versatile, so you can get, you can kind of position the basket wherever you want it, and then also, um, if you decide to take the basket off and you just want to use the rack uh, on its own, you're able to just clip them and go. Get that cleaned up. Now that we've got our basket and rack set up on the bike, let's go ahead and talk about installing the bag. The first bag we're going to talk about is the outer shell bag. This bag on the bottom is going to have a little bit of webbing and a couple of connection straps. These connection straps you'll want to get uh, kind of set widthwise to the basket and rack. That way you'll have a proper connection on the bottom. The other bag that we're going to talk about today is this Swift Industries bag. A uh, Swift Industries bag will be a little bit different. Instead of webbing on the bottom, it's going to have two clips and then a flap on the side that you just go over the side of the basket and that will be your connection point. So let's go ahead and get these installed on the bike. First, we're gonna go ahead and get the outer shell basket bag installed. So we'll go ahead and drop it into the, the basket. You'll wanna get your clips pulled through there and the one in the front. Pulled through there. Now that you've got those underneath, you'll go ahead, get that guy all clipped in. There'll be a little extra strap here. That's to pull everything tight, so once you get that in there and then clipped in, go ahead, pull that tight, and then just get it tucked up and out of the way, and you're ready to ride. All right, and now we're gonna go ahead and get that Swift Industries bag installed. This one's gonna be pretty straightforward. So on here, you're just gonna undo the clip like that. Drop this guy in there. Make sure that your clip gets pulled through the bottom of the rack, and then just flap over top, and you're off to the races. We appreciate you joining us for this first episode of Pure Cycles Gear Corner. If you have any questions on what you saw today, feel free to leave a comment below or shoot us an email at gearcorner at puresycles.com. 
Also, if you like what you saw today, don't forget to subscribe to the Pure Cycles channel. So until next time, stay safe out there and keep it rubber side down. <laughs>